canada will invest an additional eight point one billion dollars over the next five years and approximately seventy three billion dollars over the next twenty years just months after announcing canada was looking to cut defense spending the federal government announces a big spending long-term plan for canadian national defense with an emphasis on the canadian defense industry and the far north the northwest passage could become the most efficient shipping route between Europe and Asia by 2050. That's just 26 years away. Canadians are, once again, called upon to meet the moment. The investments, which will be in Budget 2024, will bring our defence spending to 1.76% of GDP by 2029-2030. The new policy, named Our North Strong and Free, has plans for new supply hubs and infrastructure in the far north, new ships, new aircraft, long-range missile capacity, and more support for those in uniform to address recruitment and retention issues. Defense policy is also industrial policy. Defense Minister Bill Blair also highlighted support for the arms industry with a focus on artillery. The war in Ukraine has highlighted the continuing importance of conventional munitions as Ukrainian forces struggle to find enough shells to match Russian forces. We are investing $9.4 billion to build more artillery and ammunition in Canada, including a significant $300 million investment to help Canadian industry tool up to create new production lines and to secure new supply chains. Canada's defense industry says the new policy is encouraging, but procurement reform is still badly needed. Without changes to how the forces buy new equipment or materiel, military spending gets pushed back, and the industry is reluctant to invest in production for an unpredictable buyer. It is fair to look at a plan like this and say, you know, with a back-end load uh, as significant as it is, Will this or future governments, uh, if not the current one, um, will they continue on this legacy by making the necessary investments and commitments in Canada's defence? In a statement, Conservative defence critic James Bazan says the Liberals have failed to hit any of the spending targets set out in the 2017 Strong, Secure and Engaged policy, adding Trudeau is once again kicking the can down the road by committing most of the defence spending in today's announcement until after the next election. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.